Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Uh, today is just going to be a video of uh, me using incense from my house. This is just what I'm going to do when um, I need a video or I need to test something out, which is what is happening today. Uh, the audio for a couple of the clips was messed up with the game, so a couple of these clips won't have any uh, game audio, but the rest should. I think there's like 17 clips and maybe four of them don't have audio uh, but you should have the music at least uh, for a few of them here but mostly this is the test out as you can see we've got a new layout we've got a new background um, can't really call it an overlay it's more of an underlay but we have the Pokemon that I'm hunting for currently uh, as you can see we've bumped it up to seven instead of the three because we have sprites now which I think actually look pretty good they're a little grainy because I had to make them big enough so that they would they look good, uh, but I still think overall uh, the, the the sprites look pretty good. Uh, definitely the Lapras, Charizard, Dragonite, Aerodactyl, those look the best. You can't really tell the graininess as much on those. Uh, but so what we got is what I'm hunting for. Kind of the top one that I'm hunting for right now, mostly through Egg, is Aerodactyl. Uh, then we've got Vulpix, Growlithe, Porygon, Dratini, Lapras, and Scyther. Uh, as soon as I catch a Lapras, Scyther or Porygon, as well as Aerodactyl, they'll get replaced on the Hunting for list. Uh, Bullpix, Growlithe, and Dratini will probably be on there for quite some time because I want a really powerful Ninetales, Dragonite, and Arcanine, so those will probably remain on there, but there are some Pokemon that I'm waiting to swap out. We got rid of the Rayquaza underneath the Pokemon Go. Rayquaza is just my favorite Pokemon, so... I don't know, that's why he was there until I figured out what I wanted to do for an underlay. I guess I changed the colors as well to a blue. Um, blue is my favorite color, I guess. Actually, it's close. I like a lot of colors. So, let's just forget about it. I also colorblind, so that doesn't help at all. But, I added the most wanted list as well. Those will just be the two Pokemon that I want the most right now that I don't currently have. Uh, which is Charizard and Dragonite. I think I probably, in all honesty, have one of the below average Pokemon Go teams for being level 22. Um, I, I, I have to just simply blame it on the fact that I don't live in a big city. I don't live in like New York or LA or Chicago. I don't even... I'm like three hours... I'm three hours away from a bunch of big cities. I might actually make a trip to one of them, but who knows. I'm, I'm about three hours from Detroit, three hours from Cleveland... I think three hours from Indy, three hours from Chicago. It's like three and a half to Cincinnati. It's one of those. Switch Cincinnati or Cleveland. I don't know which one's closer, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so mostly this video was just to test sprites. Uh, this, I had some tef technical difficulties. This video would have been out earlier had I not had some, but I was having issues with the sprites and there was like this weird green bar I think it was Charizard and Scyther causing the issues. Um, I'm not really sure what I could have done to fix it, but... So you'll see the sprites, wings, and whatnot. They'll kind of get a slight little jump about every 45 to a, seconds to a minute. It's just the video kind of recycling, because uh, that's how I just had to do it. It's, it's almost unnoticeable uh, when it happens, but it, it does happen. But I tried to just record a 50-minute video. Uh, and then just be able to cut it down uh, to fit whatever size I needed. But this ended up working better. There's no green static bar at the bottom, so that's not interfering. Um, obviously, I'm not showing you every single Pokemon that I caught, just some of the more important ones. Uh, there was a couple of Jigglypuffs that actually spawned next to my house. Here's the first Jigglypuff. Uh, 428 combat power will probably make a pretty good Wigglytuff. Uh, can't obviously know that for sure because different Pokemon evolve at different I guess different different combat power they increase by different combat power depending on the Pokemon um, and also I need to go for an egg hunt here so I'll probably be recording that tomorrow's video was supposed to be that but it actually turned into kind of a a messed up day. It didn't actually go as planned, so that's not exactly what I got to do yesterday. Now, I did hatch some eggs in tomorrow's video, but I didn't fill my eggs back up, which was the plan. Uh, so, I'll just have to 
probably go ahead on Thursday or Friday and do a little drive around, hit up some Pokestops, see if we can get ourselves some more eggs. Uh, actually just looking for 2km eggs right now. I've actually had kind of a struggle trying to find 2km eggs. Uh, I've had a lot of luck finding 5km, haven't had a great luck in hatching what I want out of 5km eggs. Uh, and I've had three 10km eggs that yielded an Electabuzz, a Chansey, and an Onyx. The Chansey and the Onyx being low combat power, so they really are kind of irrelevant in the whole scheme of my of my team. Uh, currently, we're sitting with a 1330 Electabuzz and a 1300 Hypno. Those are the only Pokemon over 1300 combat power. I think I probably have to have, like, I'm assuming I have to have one of the worst level 22 combat power accounts. I just don't have anything that dominates. And I think I just attribute that to me not being in a big city. I, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of spots where I can go, and places will be lured by other people. Uh, it just doesn't happen. I have to drop more, most of the lures. I think I just need to take trips to different cities that are close to me. Uh, I need to start using Pokey Vision a little bit more. Uh, I think I might go downtown of my little town. Not uh, on. It, 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 we're going back to the Chocolate Cafe. Which will probably yield two or three videos. I might sit there a little bit longer this time. Um, won't have a friend with me this time, so I don't know. Maybe I'll watch some YouTube videos. Maybe I can uh, hang out there a little bit longer than I did last time. See if I can catch anything crazy. Um, I'm also going to be running around that downtown area because I'm going to be trying to use Pokey Vision uh, to try to find some rare Pokemon. Because with the three step, it's not a glitch anymore, I'm pretty sure it's just three steps. It's just an issue. Uh, they turned them off, and it's a really big issue that they need to fix. They just haven't, and it's extremely disappointing that they turned it off and aren't turned. They haven't, it's, this has been like three weeks, hasn't it? This has been like a long, long time that they need to do something to fix this, but... We'll just continue to wait. I heard trading is getting added soon, so I don't know. Maybe if anybody wants to do trades. I don't think... Honestly, let me look here. I don't think I have anything to trade with trades becoming available soon. I just don't think I really have anything I'm wanting to trade. I mean... As I look through here of all my Pokemon, there isn't really anything I want to trade. I want to trade for Vulpix and Growlithe, but other than that, there's not really anything I have to trade. Because Unless someone needs Hypnos, I do have Hypnos, but I don't really think anyone needs those. I guess Jinx and Tauros, if people need those. I guess I could trade Tauros with people from outside of... I think, is it North America that has Tauros? It's North America has Tauros, Kangaskhan in Australia... Uh, is it Mr. Mime in Europe? Japan has... Ooh, I forget. Japan has a Pokemon. I forget which one Japan has. I think South America has a... No. Does South America have a re... It's not in South American countries yet, I don't think. But they may have their own Pokemon specific to them. Uh, but... The thing is, I need to I need to figure out and I need to get a plan or a strategy on how to, you know, get better Pokemon, get stronger. Because really all I'm catching is Pidgeys and Caterpies and Rattatas. I need to just take a day and do like a 9 to 5 just complete Pokemon Go day and just go crazy. Uh, because, not that I'm like under leveled, I think 22, 22 is not great. Um... Because there's other people, there's people that are level 30, and you know, there's people that are leveled. I think 25 is probably where I should be about now, but I, I have taken a couple of days where I just took complete breaks from the game and I just didn't play it at all, which probably was a mistake. And there was those five days where I didn't upload a video, which means I didn't get enough content to make a video. I tried to make a video off of one of those days, but I just didn't get enough important things or I didn't catch enough good stuff. Um,. You're seeing a lot of... Here's a bell sprout. I guess that's something good. Um, some of the stuff that I consider good finds are really not that great. Like, when I find a Vulpix, I'm super hyped. But I see a ton of people with Ninetales and stuff like that. So I don't think it's actually like a thing that I should be super hyped about finding. 
The same with like bell sprouts. Like the stuff on the screen that the sprites that I've added are the things I should be getting hyped for, other than Vulpix and Growlithe. Like I said, I should be getting hyped if I find a Charizard or a Dragonite or an Aerodactyl, Lapras, a Scyther. I mean, just like anything. Um, I'm gonna be trying to figure out. I'm gonna map out some other parks and see if I can go hit those up. See if there's anything new there. I, but I, but the area I live in. You know, the Midwest is not the most exciting place, and I think it kind of restricts the Pokemon that are here. Uh, it, it really cuts down on, you know, the lure spots and all of that different stuff. I don't live in a big city, like I said, and it, it's just kind of hindered my Pokemon Go, I guess, experience. Because I've had to do a lot of incensing on my own, and I've had to do a lot of lures modules on my own. Actually, I haven't used a lot of lure modules on my own. I probably use like a total of like seven lure modules, but I've used a ton of incense. I've had to do a lot of catching from my house because with the three-step glitch in effect, or I don't even know why it's, it's not a glitch, the three-step issue in effect, I can't really go walking around searching for Pokemon because I could walk around my whole neighborhood and not find one, just to, if I find a decent one. I'll probably find Rattatas and Pidgeys, but... At a certain point, do we really want to catch those? Here we go. This is a decent Pokemon evolution here. It's not great. I thought it would be a lot higher evolving an 800 plus Gloom. I thought I might get like a 1300 or 1400 Bioplume. But that's not what happened. It only went... It, did it go up less than... It went up less... Uh, it's a 1243 Bioplume, but I thought it would be a little bit higher. It only went up about 400. Uh... Combat power, which is about how much the Oddish went up, I guess. I have an Oddish now uh, that when I'm able to evolve it is going to turn into a really nice Vile Plume. It's a 597 Oddish. Um, I'm going to start grooming a Vulpix, I think, to turn into a Ninetales. I got a 386 Vulpix currently um, because Ninetales is probably going to be my attempt to have my most powerful Pokemon be a Ninetales or an Arcanine. I think that's really the goal. The park seems to be a nice spawn for Vulpix, so I definitely want to keep hitting up the park near my house to try to get Vulpix candies. Uh, seems like I can get about three or four per hour there, which is actually really, really good. Uh, and I think it's definitely something that I need to keep going back and doing. Here's a Tauros, not too strong of a Tauros, only in 309, but building up some Tauros candy so I could really beef up a Tauros. I think I have a 1,000 Tauros that I could beef up into probably like a 1,300 Tauros, I would assume. It's got a decent chunk of its bar left to still be leveled up. I could probably get to, to at least 1,200, maybe 13. Uh, but those type... Here's another Jigglypuff here, as you can see on my screen. Uh, but 12 and 1,300 CP Pokemon just aren't going to get it done for me. I need to be catching... 14, 15, or evolving into 14, 15, 16, 1700 combat power Pokemon at this point, and I'm just not having any luck. Uh, like, my strongest combat power Pokemon are a Hypno and an Electabuzz, and the issue is, is that I spent candies in order to get them that high. Um, I'm actually level 22 now, so in the video Friday, I think, or I don't know when, I'll, when it'll get up, but the video where I'm going to do evolutions and level up, actually going to level up the Hypno and the Electabuzz again uh, to try to get them. I think the Electabuzz will get to 1400 combat power and the Hypno should get somewhere around there as well. Uh, there's not really anything else that I want to level up. Maybe if, like I, I don't want to level up a, a uh, Eeveelution because I do have a 600 uh, Eevee ready to be evolved, a 601 Eevee that should turn into something pretty powerful. I'm um, hoping to get to level 23 before I evolve that Eevee, uh, just hoping that maybe the evolution will be a little bit stronger. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to drop the video a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and soon I'm going to have an outro little screen uh, similar to like the the over or the underlay uh, that should, you know, have something for me to talk over instead of just a blank or a picture uh, at the end of my videos if I go over the actual recording. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.